we are very excited because we are back at Disney for the first time since before the pandemic. I think the last time we were here was Malia's 10th birthday. We'll give a link to that video right here. And we also go over the disability pass in that one. But today we are going to take maternity pictures for the baby. I'm very excited. And we tried to come about a year ago before we hit the road but um, you even had to wear masks outside, which we were fine with, but Malia would not even let us put a mask anywhere near her face, so we weren't able to come. So yeah, it's been a little over two years and we're very excited to go and walk around outside. So I'm not gonna go in anywhere because it's a little bit too dense for us. And I'm thankful for the benches. <laughs> Malia is very squeezy because she knows where she is. Are you excited to walk around Disney Springs? As Amanda said, we are at Disney Springs. The last time we came here, we are testing out our RV for the first time ever about an hour from here. We drove all the way down here. It was at night, so there would be less people here. We get right up to the gate over this way and Malia would not wear a mask. We showed the security several times that she'd put it on and rip it off and they just wouldn't accept that. They wouldn't let us in and it's a huge outdoor venue. So it was really uh, disappointing. So we're back now. Hopefully we don't run into any problems. Malia does actually wear a mask now with no issues. Sometimes she keeps it on too long. We have to remember to take it off her. We have been wanting to take some pictures like we did other maternity pictures around the country at like Yellowstone, Yosemite, Grand Canyon. We wanted to take some pictures here as well. We're gonna be leaving this area next week so we didn't wanna miss the chance to get some maternity pictures here. So that's solely our purpose coming today. Uh, we didn't wanna go into the parks because they are really busy and uh, so we're just gonna enjoy the outside area here at Disney Springs. So come along with us as we go in here for the first time in forever. For the first time in forever. That's what I'm dreaming of. We are officially on the elevator going to floor number two. So security is definitely a lot different than what we remember here, which is good. Especially after the Pulse Club shooting in downtown Orlando. We had no issue with security. Uh, they just said with my camera here to move it away from me when I go through the metal detector. And they didn't ask about the dog or anything. So that was, uh, that was a plus. Take it easy today. Keep pushing it. Huh? <laughs> they got scooters down here. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so far not so bad usually right through here it's like crazy okay we're going on to the second elevator okay this time it looks more promising it says number one is Disney Springs we are officially in Disney Springs right here is probably a good spot right you're not gonna rob the world of Disney are you I can't see your face I know Isaac said he feels like he looks invisible yeah <laughs> Malia took hers off already Malia already took her mask off you can't blame her. It's not hot out here. Mid 70s. It says the masks are required at all indoor locations. Yeah. We just took some uh, really decent pictures, I think. So we were only in here for about five minutes and we already scored some decent pictures. So we're happy with that. Now we'll just probably walk around a little bit and see what's changed over time. And uh, I can tell you one thing, security definitely has changed over time, which is a good thing. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Funzel? We even took some pictures here just in case we end up using this name here are you ready for it oh so close you got to move up a little more like right yeah like right there right here? oh i guess he moves around i didn't know that well good thing the camera is waterproof here we go oh there you go <laughs> you got it <laughs> let's see if he gets his bolt okay oh <laughs> did he get you yeah i'm glad i have my mask on so it won't go in my mouth Oh, you got it good. I got it good. Okay, well, we just took a picture with Cinderella with the bibbidi boppity boop shirt. With the bibbidi bop bump shirt, we will continue on this way. Oh, they just scored me again. Oh, got my back. Amanda was telling the kids that we went to that building right there, but in San Francisco, it's a replica of it. Pretty cool. This right here was really lucky. Amanda's shirt is bibbidi boppity bump, and we didn't even know this place was back here. Bibbidi boppity boutique. 
and it's closed so it made for picture taking really easy everybody's in the shade here i just looked up what the temperature is up in new york where my family is and it's 14 there and it's 77 here degrees fahrenheit that is a crazy difference these guys are actually a little tired from the heat you can see isaac back there in all dark clothing he is definitely not enjoying the uh, sunshine today it's been really cold so i thought it was only going to be slightly warmer so i gave him pants and t-shirts but today yeah. should have been shorts <laughs> so i think we did really well just for coming to disney springs we were able to get pictures we even forgot we're here so by walking around we discovered some things we knew they were here we just didn't remember so uh i think we did really well on this trip it was definitely worth the uh the time to come down here and do this before it was too late on Friday, we have to travel about 70 miles over to the west coast of Florida for a doctor appointment. And sometimes you don't know when traveling like that, you know, this far along, what could happen. So we came here today uh, on a busy homeschool day. Uh, Aubrey has a lot of classes today. Aubrey was in a class on the way here, but we came here because we knew we're up against the clock here. So uh, now we have a quite a long haul back to the car. How are you feeling about that? Tired. I just yeah. need something to drink like an ice water. You know how much an ice water is here, kid? It's actually free. At Your whole month's allowance. So it's been a year. It's only been about an hour here, but Ow. we but we have to close out the day because it is a homeschool day. I have some work to do, and we have to head back up to our little suburb, and then we have to pack up for our trip tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're traveling all the way over to the Florida West Coast to go to the baby's doctor who also delivered Aubrey a billion years ago. So, <laughs> Aubrey has her hand up. Um, I just want to let um, you know that I'm making my own game, so I have to finish making my games, so that's another piece of work that I have to do. Video game though, you're coding. Yes, I'm, I'm coding, so I'm getting a video game. Wow, that's awesome. If you get a well-built game, maybe we can share it to everybody. I think that's it for today. Thank you for coming along with us on this nostalgic visit to Disney Springs. And someday, hopefully, we'll be back in the parks. So any of our Disney people that watch this, we'll be joining you back someday soon, I'm sure. But for now, we are gonna focus on making sure the baby arrives to this planet. Well, technically, he's already here, but we're gonna focus on all that. And then we have another big trip, hopefully, coming up. And then when we come back, that will be our time to probably Finally, after about three years, go back into the parks. I even have a client of mine in my credit card merchant processing business that even said he had some tickets set aside for us. We won't even have to worry about paying to go in the parks right now, but we're not going to. They're just too busy, so we're just gonna hold off. Amanda wouldn't be able to walk all around them. They're huge. So we'll just wait until we can go back into Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot in about a year i think at least we have something to look forward to and we'll see you in the next video bye for now see you real soon